Hello everyone and you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. I go by the name Tete Te and I offer you um, information on how to apply for postgraduate courses and scholarships ranging from Erasmus Mundus to scholarships in the UK and beyond. If this is the first time you are watching any video on my channel, you are gladly welcome to the community. Kindly hit on the subscription button and then the post notifications so that as and when I release a new video, you would be the first to be notified. Don't forget to give a thumbs up for this video to help us circulate and then increase our numbers as a community. Today, we will be talking about the Euro Asian Master in Medical Technology and Healthcare Business. Okay, so let's just scroll down and then see the overview of the program. Okay, so the short form, the short name of the course is EMMAH. So let's say EMMA. EMMA Master is a multidisciplinary master focusing on the study of medical technologies through various fields of expertise, which includes bio medical engineering, healthcare, and business, okay? Medtech industry experiences rapid innovation cycles and employs a growing number of healthcare professionals. To respond to these challenges, EMA prepares students to be specialized in the development, regulation, improvement, and business management of technical and organizational healthcare solutions. Okay, EMA is a professionalizing master that allows students to work in an international environment by combining theoretical analysis and concrete case studies in partnership with various health organizations. Graduates are awarded a joint diploma co-signed by the EU partners, the MSc from TMU, depending on the student's choice for the master's thesis and digital graduation certificates. Okay, so this is the program overview. Moving on, let's check the admission and then the selection. Okay, so um, application campaign for 2024 to 2026 for Emma Erasmus Mundus Joint Master Scholarship is now open. All applicants are invited to read carefully all information provided about eligibility, required documents, and online application process. Okay, candidates from all over the world can apply to the Emma. Erasmus Mundus Joint Master Degree, both scholarship and self-funded applicants submit their application through the same online application form. The selection of applications is coordinated by the Selection and Examination Board of the Emma Master, including members of the four partner universities. Okay, so let's look at the eligibility. Okay, student application for admission in the Emma program is entitled for students holding a higher education undergraduate degree. For example, your bachelor's degree that passes for an undergraduate degree or a recognized equivalent level of learning in accordance with the Emma Master Program. Okay, so once you have your bachelor's degree, you can study on this course. But just note that the expected scientific background in the following, okay? So you have to have a background in either health sciences, biomedical engineering, audiology, clinical physiology, medical imaging, and radiation therapy or equivalent. So you should make sure that even though you have a bachelor's degree, it should be in any of the following fields. So candidates are expected to have prior basic knowledge of calculus, linear algebra, and linear ordinary differential equations. Candidates should provide in the application procedure a convincing demonstration that they have a strong background related to the indicated fields. Okay, students should provide a proof of undergraduate degree by application with their official academic 
transcripts and average grades. Students who do not yet have their official undergraduate degree by the application date may apply by submitting their latest academic transcript translated in English and officially approved by their higher education institution, which must display their marks on each model taking an average grade so far. If selected, the student has to provide their official degree or certificate of undergraduate degree achievement by the 30th of August or their enrollment to the program will be cancelled. This is just for people who haven't completed their degree yet. You can still apply for this program, but then latest by the 30th of August, you should have submitted your official undergraduate degree. Okay, so the AMA program is taught in English and English proficiency is therefore a basic requirement. Okay, if you come from any other African country where English is the native language, you should note this down. Sufficient English language proficiency may also be demonstrated by proof of two years of full-time study in English. So if you have studied in a university where English was predominantly used or English was your mode of instruction, all you have to do is go to your university and ask for um, an English proficiency letter. Once you have an English proficiency letter, you qualify for the language proficiency. Therefore, you do not need IELTS or TOEFL. So you just need an English proficiency letter from your university to show to show that you speak and write English. Selection of the applications will be based on a criteria listed in the table below with their respective weight. Okay, so you need to bear the criteria in mind. You can read more about the application procedure, but just note that 20 students will be selected for the Erasmus Mundus funding. Okay, and another 20 will be put on the reserve list. So now we would look at the um, Erasmus Mundus component of this program. Okay, so study grants and training costs so we just come down and then we just click on the erasmus mundus grant okay so we just click on it and then this is the part that we are interested in there are other parts there but we just focus on the erasmus mundus component okay so by applying to the AMA master program you can apply for an erasmus mundus joint master scholarship by mentioning your choice while filling in the application form. So once you are filling the application form, don't forget to choose Erasmus Mundus Joint Master Scholarship. That is the name of the scholarship that you would be applying for. And it's part of your application process. Okay. So Erasmus Mundus Joint Master Scholarship amounts to 1,400 euros per month for a total of 24 months, okay? So for all the 24 months, you would be given 1,400 euros every month. And this includes your participation fees and also covers all living costs of the student, okay? Which includes your travel, your accommodation, your visa, ETC, okay? So with this, there's no travel installation, okay? Because everything has been uh, put together in your monthly allowance. So you have to be able to manage the money on your own, okay? So bear that in mind. So let's move straight into the application process, okay? So application campaign for 2024 to 2026, Emma Erasmus Mundo's Joint Master Scholarship is now is now open. Deadline to apply is February 16th, 2024. Okay, so today is um, Monday, January 20. Second, okay, so you have some ample time to apply for this program until February 16th. Okay, so let's look at the required documents that you would need in the application process. Okay, so first and foremost, you need a copy of your bachelor's degree from your university, and your bachelor's degree, remember, must be related to health sciences, biomedical engineering, audiology, clinical physiology, medical imaging and radiation therapy or an equivalent, okay? So just bear in mind that this is what your degree must revolve around. Also, you need a copy of your academic transcript. So the next thing that you need is your CV and they want the CV to be in the Euro Pass template, okay? So I'm going to insert the link where I 
explain into detail how you can create your own Europass CV. Just watch that video and then you can generate your own Europass CV in a few minutes, okay? Also, you need an official valid, uh, a valid official language certificate. That is your English proficiency letter to prove that you can speak English. So you need to get that from your university. The next thing that you need is um, a passport or valid ID documents if you are an EU citizen. But then for us coming from Africa and um, the global south, you need your passport, especially the page where your picture is and where your information also can be found so you need to scan that and then save it as a pdf and then you upload and then the last thing that you need is the certificate of current residence address also i'm going to insert the link of how to get your um, certificate of current residence address that's a proof of residence i also have a video of it already on this channel so i'm going to insert the link so that you can watch how you can get your current residence address okay so these are the documents that you need to apply for this program note that there was no mention of any reference letters here and some of us would really be happy with this because getting reference letters from our universities has proved to be very very difficult so you would be glad to know that there was no mention of reference letters here as part of the documentation notes you do not need to provide a motivation letter however you will be asked to express your motivation on the application platform, okay? Although you are not going to be asked to write a motivation letter on the application platform, there's going to be a question that is going to ask you your motivation for coming on to this program or for applying on to this program. So still you need to provide your motivation or let's say your statement of purpose. So I'm going to insert the link of how to do this as well in the description so that you can watch it and be able to express your motivation on the application in simple steps. Okay. So when a translation of documents is needed, applicants should provide a copy of the original documents and their legal translation in English. This is not applicable to us, so then we skip to the next part, okay? So online application, okay? So you must fill in an online application form in English and provide all required documents. We've discussed the documents that you need. Your application must be submitted before the deadline, okay? So remember the deadline, it is 16th February 2024. Even when you open the page, it is in red here. The deadline is in red here. That means very, very important and that you should note it down so that you do not miss the deadline. After submission, you will receive an automatic acknowledgement of receipt by email. Check your spam box if not. If you do not, if you do not receive any automatic acknowledgement of receipt by email, you should check your spam box and that email could be there. So this talks about interview of shortlisted applicants. Um, applicants will be ranked according to their merit rating from the highest to the lowest rating. And a first short list of candidates will be contacted for an interview organized as a video conference. Online interviews um, consist in 10 minutes auditions that break down into a presentation of the students general questions to explore and assess applicants profile and motivation to study in the emma program so basically this is you defending what you wrote in your statement of purpose or motivation letter why you want to be on the program that is why i encourage you to write this statement of purpose yourself so that it becomes part and parcel of you and in case you are shortlisted for an interview you can defend everything that you wrote down okay so then there's going to be the final selection once the interview process is over okay so right now we've spoken about the whole emma program now the next thing for us to do is to click on how to apply okay so once you click on how to apply it's going to take you straight to the application platform where you can create your account and get to fill in all the necessary details after that you can start submitting your documents together with your application and then you are good to go so this is how you apply for the emma program i wish you all the best in your application stay blessed and i will definitely catch you on the flip side